Do you know who this is? If not, you've just missed out on playing one of the world's greatest RPGs, that being Dragon Quest VIII. This right here is the Lord of Dragovians, the one who presides over the Dragovian race. The Dragovians are an intelligent race of half-human, half-dragons. Their standard appearance isn't too far from a normal person, but they have the ability to turn into a full-fledged dragon. The Lord of Dragovians has got to be one of my favorite boss fights from a Dragon Quest game, which is why I'm making this video about him and his race. For story reasons that I won't delve too deep into, for spoilers sake, you end up fighting the Lord of Dragovians. After you and your party defeat him, he gives you the option to complete the Dragovian Trials, a series of battles where you can fight the Lord in his dragon forms. Each time the Lord of Dragovians is defeated, he transforms into a stronger dragon form. He has seven forms in total. The Vermilion Dragon, the Emerald Dragon, the Silver Dragon, the Golden Dragon, the Dark Steel Dragon, the Divine Dragon. As someone whose favorite mythological creature is dragons, I can't get enough of this. I'm literally smiling to my teeth right now. But I only just listed six dragon forms. What is the seventh one? Well, that is the ultimate dragon. It doesn't get much cooler than that, right? These trials are how you get the Dragovian equipment. Now, all of this buildup, me talking about all of these things relating to the Dragovians, what is it for? Like I've said in the past, most people click off my videos two minutes in. But if you've stayed till now and are willing to watch till the end, you will get to see me go against one of the Lord's forms, the Vermilion Dragon. I have been meaning to make a vlog style Dragon Quest video, and I figured why not throw that concept into this video. Now, these trials are pretty long, and I won't make you suffer through all of that, so I'll have my perilous battle condensed down to about a minute for you to enjoy. On screen now is my first attempt at felling this foe. We start off by calling our monster teams as they will do damage for us while our main party just gets to chill. You can only call out the monster team two times provided you have two teams to call upon. So they come in, do some good damage, and do what they gotta do. The Lord's human form is pretty easy to put pressure on and defeat, and so after a couple of turns, we take him to his next form, the Vermilion Dragon. This is where the real fight begins. As you can see, I struggle, everyone ends up dying except Yangus, and I use a Kerplunk where you sacrifice Yangus' life for everyone else to be revived, but even that, sadly, is not enough to fell this foe, the Vermilion Dragon. And so, our very first attempt ends in failure. I expected this, but man, it just kinda hit hard. It took me about half a day to beat this boss. It was relentless trying to learn his strategy and how to counteract it. But I persevered and ended up defeating him because there was no way I was going to upload this video and be like, yeah guys, I couldn't beat the Vermilion Dragon, I suck. I'm not going to lie though, my man did put me through the five stages of grief. But that epic feeling you get when you successfully beat him was something else. I'll catch y'all in the next Dragon Quest video.